It's Mom and Pop Video Shop. Welcome back to Mom and Pop Video Shop. I am Joel. And I'm Tyson. And this is very simple. For your weekly retro movie recommendation, there is only one movie that made sense to me. It is a movie that is near and dear to my heart, not horror. And now for something completely different. I love this movie deeply. I love this movie so much, I love it more than the movie that came out the exact same year that is thematically very, very similar. And that movie is, boom, Iron Eagle from 1986. And off the back of the box, a captive father, a heroic son, a daring rescue mission. High-flying, rapid-fire adventure in the tradition of Top Gun, that'd be the movie I'm referring to, starring Louis <laughs> Gossett Jr., Academy Award-winning Best Supporting Actor for An Officer and a Gentleman, 1982. And Jaws 3. And Jaws, well, he didn't win an Academy Award for that. He should've. And Jason Gedrick, TV's Murder One, and Rooftops. <laughs> they grabbed they said Rooftops. And uh, Heavenly Kid. Oh, of course, Heavenly Kid. Air Force pilot Colonel Ted Masters, Tim freaking Thomerson. God, I love Tim Thomerson. Transfers? Yes. One of my all-time favorite actors, Tim Thomerson. He plays the dad. If there's any reason why you're going to commit gonna, it's gonna massive- take 12 minutes. I know, I thought it was going to be a quick one, I lied. I'm just going to make references to everything. Uh, Tim Thomerson is shot down over a hostile Middle Eastern country and taken prisoner. U.S. government is powerless to negotiate his release. With time quickly running out, Master's teenage son, Doug, played by Gedrick, takes bold action. He enlists the aid of a tough-as-nails reserve officer, Louis Gossett Jr., and they devise a daring military rescue mission to storm the skies, exact vengeance on the evil captors, and free Doug's father. Powered by dynamite aerial dogfight sequences, a soaring rock soundtrack, and thrilling edge-of-your-seat action, Iron Eagle has something for everyone. From Janet Maslin, the New York Times. Well, Ms. Maslin, I agree with you. So, oh, sweet. Uh, I love this movie. I love it deeply. I wanted to be a pilot after seeing this movie at the age of 10 because it came out in 86. My dad took me to see this in the theater. You want to be a pirate after watching Arnie? A pilot. Oh. I'd arg. Gotcha. Maybe a That's pirate such pilot. such a bad joke. Cut that out. I'm yeah, no, we're going. We'll leave it in. Um, the, so I wanted to be a pilot, which is hilarious because I never flew until I was like 40 years old. Yeah. <laughs> but for a minute there, Top Gun was not my jam. This was my jam. I love this movie. I love Chappie. Louis Gossett Jr. in this to me is awesome to the point where Speaking of Jaws 3, they were doing a celebration at Shark Con this last summer for Jaws 3 for the anniversary. Uh, and he and Leah Thompson were there. And uh, because my buddy Robbie Retro gave me the soundtrack on vinyl. Here, I'll hold this. Yeah, you hold that so I don't drop anything. I got it autographed, I don't know if you can see that, from the man himself, from Chappie. Dude is in his 80s. 87 years young. The guy's a badass, and he's like still really with it, you know. Yeah. I mean, because to me, it's not just about it's not just the age of somebody. It's like, are they are you still with it? He's with it. Like he was making jokes and just so awesome, so cool to meet him. Iron Eagle, if you've never seen it, is very eighties. I will oh, tell you that sure. it is a hundred percent eighties. It is very like pro rah rah military, but weirdly, it's like, unlike Top Gun, which was like borderline propaganda, which I'm maybe not borderline, <laughs> but that mo this movie has like this interesting like. Oh, I wanted to be a pilot after Top Gun. See, I don't, I, I don't I hate Tom Top Gun, me. and I love Maverick. Maverick to me was like the best movie. For in that what year. it's worth, I wanted to be a bartender after Cocktail. Okay, yeah, so. fair enough. But I feel like Top Gun to me, I never could like relate to it. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there was something about it. It was too slick. It was too. You, you I, never played sand volleyball with the boys. Never did. Yeah. Turn in with the boys. Uh, <laughs> We're the definitely boys. leaving that. Oh yeah. You are a dork friend. Iron Eagle, though, I felt was more relatable. I love the soundtrack. Again, Louis Gossett Jr. to me is like, there's just something about him is like the mentor and like almost like this dad mm -hmm. figure, even though, you know, Jason Kendrick's character, Doug, does have a dad, is who he's trying to save. But, but he just he has this, there's something about him just so great. Um, I, and obviously it has Tim Thomas in it. He's not in a lot of it because he's basically being held prisoner. Sure. I do think it's hilarious though, that it was like, they didn't want to, it's sort of like how in Maverick, they never said who the country was that they were attacking. Yeah. For fear of like geopolitics, I guess, and wanting to make sure their movie could be released everywhere. This movie does the same thing where they don't say it's Iran or wherever, but it's totally just some nondescript Middle Eastern yes. country. Uh, but yeah, it, it's very like raw, raw. It's, okay, you know what it is? Top Gun is very raw, raw American military. 
I don't know that this one is as much. Like, there's a rebellious streak to this. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think, you know, you can always find the movies that were obviously from the American military or CIA's perspective, good from their perspective, so from, from like, the propagandistic uh, perspective, because they, they will, you can always see like, you know, made with total support of the US military. Yes. I mean, they give them total. But then there's those ones where, like Independence Day, Never did not. We're not allowed to use the official because I think it was because they didn't depict them as being flawless. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? They did some stuff that, and I think same with this. I'm wondering if this one because they steal, you know, freaking jets <laughs> and they do yeah. some really like to Daryl's point in the real world. This is a total fantasy. In the real world, these people would have been brought up on charges and probably summarily shot for <laughs> for the crap that they do. It wouldn't be like one of those like. Oh, you. You don't know, man. You weren't there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but I say if you are the kind of person that want to throw Chappie or Doug in a prison, you you have no soul. That's just me. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you've never seen uh, this, if you've never uh, uh, traveled down the road of the gypsy. So embarrassing. If you've never done any of that. <laughs> you're on a roll. <laughs> this one. <laughs> uh, I love this movie so much. Honest Can God. I confess? I've only seen it a couple times. <gasps> Okay. I, only a couple times. Fair enough. I, I don't remember it. I don't remember it. I love this so much. I only, if you told me you never said I'd be like, I don't care. You no, need no, to. That's, no, just, I, that's your loss. No, I remember it. <laughs> no, I was that kid that walked, walked in video searching. You look at the cover of this. You're oh, like, it's oh, awesome. Shit, I got to watch this. Oh, yeah. Totally. Exactly. You got, yeah, these two badasses with the jets mm -hmm. flying behind them. Um, but again, it's very 86. Uh, I, I'm gonna. I, hopefully, I'm dropping this review on the same week. Every where I live, there's a sun and fun where, like, usually either the Blue Angels or the Thunderbirds yeah. or whatever comes screaming over. It's awesome. So, um, and I always watch this movie around that time. Throw up the poster. Love it so much. So, Iron Eagle, if you've seen it, comment below. You really can't spoil it. <laughs> so, Joel, let me ask you. Yeah. How many tapes would you give this? Uh, let me think. Let me think. Uh, five. <laughs> it's a five taper, duh. Uh, yeah, it is 100% one of my top 80s action, just fun movies. Right love on. it. Love it with all my heart. So until next time, remember at Mom and Pops, our love of Firebirds with Nicolas Cage, Tommy Lee Jones, Sean Young. Never stops. Yeah. If you want to take a break from jets and no. move over to Apache helicopters. Mom and Pops Video Show